Soccer Pro is built around a powerful sharing model, so you can share giant videos with everyone you want to with a click of a button, and you can have contractors work on your coaching videos, you can have multiple coaches working on your coaching videos. All these things are built into the system to make it extremely easy to share. But what happens when you don't want to share? What happens when you want to take control of a video? Well, we took care of that as well. When somebody shares a video with you and you want to keep that video as your own original media, all you have to do is click on this icon and ask them for permission to keep this video. When you click this link, it will send an alert to the owner of this video asking them for permission to keep a copy of the video as your original media so you both will have a copy as original media. But here's something important to keep in mind. When somebody is sharing a video with you, you get to use it in all of your projects. You get to chop it up, create highlight videos, game videos, coaching videos, anything you choose to do. But the great thing about a shared video is that it does not count against your data allocation. So if you have 40, 50, 100 gig of video shared with you, it doesn't add to the amount of data that is currently allocated to your account. But when you request permission to have this as original media in your account, and you are granted that permission, that video will go against your data allocation. So if you want to keep the video, then ask for it and keep it forever, but, if you really don't need to have the video in your account as original media, the best thing to do is just keep it as a shared video, take the highlights out that you want, and avoid going over your data limit. This is Gary with Soccer Pro helping you build smarter players and win more games.